what is set set is nothing but collection of things that have something in common just take an example what is this this is marker pen it is one of the set of marker pen marker pen is nothing but sorry set is nothing but collection of things that have some, something in common what is common in this set both are marker pen both is used for writing take another example one a set of cds a set of cds which is used for watching okay set is nothing but collection of things that have something in common okay we said that general general meaning of set what you said collection of things that have something in common okay how you will be form how you will form the set set can be formed of anything that can be well defined or dis distinct what do you mean by well defined or distinct a set of anything you can create a set but it must be a well defined and distinct unique okay just take an example okay a set of numbers a set of numbers from 1 to 10 a set of numbers from 1 to 10 1 to 10 means what you will get a set set of numbers what you will get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 means you are forming a set well defined set see you are arranging the numbers properly from 1 to 10 means you are forming a set means it is a well defined set and it is distinct 1 2 3 means unique is there no repetition you will see this is called a set this is called set so take an example a set of smart student a set of smart student is it a set no you are getting the word as smart word as smart it is not a set it is not a set what we said that set must be well defined or distinct it must be well defined you are saying a set of smart student you are taking smart student in smart student it is not a because because smart cannot be defined or measured because smart cannot be defined or measured these are relative terms these are relative terms just take an example a set of a set of intelligent intelligent people intelligent people it is also not a set you cannot create you cannot define intelligent people because so many intelligent people is there intelligent people cannot be defined cannot be defined or measured this type of words are called as relative terms this type of words is called as relative terms what we said that a set must be well defined or distinct okay next we will discuss how to find set and which is not set okay a set of all letters that comes before d means we can find out all the letters that comes before d means you will get a comma b comma c a comma b comma c so this is called set because it is well defined and it is distinct okay this is a set this is a set collection of all boys in your class is it is a set it is not a set collection of all boys means how many boys are present in your class you can form a set so it is correct it is a set it is a set if we say states of india if you are saying state of india it is also set. correct it is also state okay it is also set you can write ap telangana okay you can list all the states of india if you are saying strong student in a class it is not a set it is not a 
set because you are getting a strong word which is a relative tense if you add condition to this st statement you can create a set what if you change the condition what if you are writing if a student weight is greater than 60 consider as strong consider as strong if you change the condition or if you add the condition to this statement you can form a set you can form a you can form a set so more example is a student who score 70 percent above marks in last sem you can form a set in your class how many students got 70 percent marks you can form a set means 10 members got it five members got it if you are saying collection of 10 most talented cricketers in india means it is not a set so what you have discussed about what is set what is set what are set and in on which condition we can form set on which condition we cannot form set